Welcome back to Mitch Cafe. Today we will see the topic checkout config in Magento 2. Today we will create a custom checkout config which can be called in JS files and can be rendered in checkout page. So let's begin with the topic. Checkout config in Magento 2. Checkout configuration variables in Magento 2.4. Sometimes the user needs to add some custom variables to the checkout page and can use it to develop some custom functionality or implement some custom code in Magento 2. For example, for the unsuccessful payment in checkout page, the user needs to redirect to a custom page. At that time, we can create a checkout config which passes a redirect URL which can be called in JavaScript files. Here is a way how we can create configuration variables in checkout which can be used in JavaScript files in Magento 2. So now let's check what are the steps needed to create a checkout config in Magento 2.4. The prerequisites are first we need to create a simple module then we need to create a di.xml under app code vendor extension etc frontend directory then we require a config provider.php file which will be created under app code vendor extension model okay this step one first we need to create a di.xml file inside our extension at the following path that is app code vendor extension etc frontend di.xml here it references to composite config provider which is under Magento checkout model composite config provider it takes a single argument that is a config providers which is a type of array and we will be defining our custom object under it that is custom config provider which will be declared under a specified path that is Codilla checkout config model config provider Step 2. After that, we need to create a config provider.php file inside the extension model directory. That is app code vendor extension model config provider.php. This config provider.php will implement config provider interface that is defined under Magento checkout model config provider interface. And we will call a get config function. Under that, it will return an array with our custom checkout config provider. And in checkout page, we will inspect and in console, we will call window.checkoutconfig. Your custom co config variable. At that time, we can check, see all the uh, variables which we have defined under our custom config so let's create a simple checkout config okay now under our custom model we will create a new directory that is model directory under this model directory we will create a config provider.php class The namespace is Codilla Checkout Config Model. Okay, now this class implements a config provider interface. that is under Magento checkout model and it will take a single function that is get config function and now this function returns an array
and this array will have our checkout config variable that is a unique key now we will define our custom variables under this checkout config custom key that is Change it to PSP doc, and this this is how our config provider file looks. And now under etc front end da dot xml we will define pass our custom variable to the checkout page. Here we will pass our custom variables to the checkout page. Our da dot xml will reference to composite config provider. and it will take a single argument that is a config providers and xs type is an array This argument comes from uh, the composite config provider config provider argument, which is a type of array. Now here we will pass our custom object to the config provider. XSS type is an object here we will pass the path of our config provider where we will define our custom <laughs> checkout config And now we will run all our Magento 2 commands like Now once our all Magento commands are run, we will get into the front end and Now we will proceed to checkout Here in our checkout page, when we go to window dot checkout config, here we will find all config providers. Here, this is the one which we have created the custom config. We can call it directly by using. 
विंडो डॉट चेकआउट कॉन्फी डॉट कोडिला विच वॉज अवर यूनिक की विच वे अर पास इन एन एरे विल गेट अ कस्टम वेरिएबल्स अंडर द कस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट Okay, now we will check the steps to display custom config data in our checkout page. Like here, we will use a HTML file to display the data. First, we need to create a checkout index index dot XML file under app code vendor extension view front end layout. Then we will create a comment dot JS file under app code vendor extension view front end web JS view and shipping directory. Then we will create a comment dot HTML file under app code vendor extension view front end web template then shipping directory. Step one. Our checkout index index dot XML file looks as follows. Here we will reference to a reference block that is checkout dot root. The here we will. Define our component that is check codeila check out config js view shipping comment. Step two, then we will create comment dot js file under app code vendor extension view front end web js and shipping directory. Our js file looks as follows. Next, we will be creating our HTML file under app code vendor extension view front end web template and shipping directory. Our HTML file looks as follows. And finally, we can check our, our custom config data that will be rendered uh, in a block in our checkout page as follows. Okay, here now we will create our layout file that is checkout index index dot XML. Here we will call a reference proc that is checkout dot root, and then we will pass our component that is defined under Codeila checkout config JS view shipping comment. A component will be under web JS view shipping comment dot JS. Here we will define our component. Uh, this is a template which we are using to display our checkout config data to the checkout page. And we will define our custom function that is get custom data. Then we will define our checkout config variables we are calling it and then we are passing it under result to print in our checkout page. And our template file looks as follows. We will be defining under template shipping comment.html we will call we will call our get custom data function under this pan under data bind and finally when we go to our checkout page We will get our custom data here. This is how we can uh, display our custom config data in a checkout page. And finally, with the help of these steps, we have successfully created our checkout config, which we can call in JavaScript files in Magento 2.